Hi, this is part 3 of loops in c .net. In this video, we will discuss about how to write a program to swap two numbers and program for Fibonacci series. So actually, first of all, you must know what is swapping. Swapping means what? Interchanging the values. For example, if you consider two variables, if I declare int a is equals to 5 and I will declare one more variable, int b is equals to 6. So, I want to swap the numbers. So, if you observe clearly, here two variables are there. One is a and the other one is b. So, initially a is how much? 5 and b is how much? 6. So, before swapping the values are 5 and 6. And now, I want to swap the numbers. After swapping, a must comes of 6 and b must comes of 5. So, in order to do this program, what I will try to do means, here I will try to take one more variable. The name of the variable I will give as c. With the help of third variable, I want to swap these two numbers. So, how to swap? If you observe clearly, let us assume that there are three boxes are there. Three boxes are there. One box comes of what? Mango. Another box comes of orange. And if I will give one empty box. Now, with the help of empty box, if I ask you to swap orange to box 1 and mango to box 2. Let us assume the name of this box is A, the name of this box is what? B, the name of this box is C. Actually, orange is available in box B. I want to send that one to box A. Mango I want to send to box B. So, how to send? So, first send mango to box C. So, your box C comes of what? Mango. And now send orange to box A. So, box A comes of what? Orange. And now send mango to box B. So, box B comes of mango. Okay, with the help of third variable, you are trying to swap these two numbers. So, let us see how to do this one. Right. So, actually, I will declare one more variable int C. Initially, C is how much? 0. So, now here you see something like this is A, this is B and this is C. Is it clear? Initially, A is how much? Uh, 5. And here B is how much? Um, 6 I will give. And here C is how much? 0. Initially C is 0. Now, I want to send 5 to C. Means what? It will write the logic something like uh, C is equal to A. Means here C is how much now? 5. As we already know that a variable can store only one value. Now, I want to send 6 to A. Means a is equal to what? B. Now, here A is how much? 6. Is it clear? Now, I want to send 5 to B. So, here the logic is B is equal to what? C. Means C in B. C means 5. So, we are storing 5 in where? B. So, after swapping A comes of what? 6. B comes of 5. This is the logic for what? Swap two numbers by using third variable. Let us see the program here. So, initially, I will take two numbers. Int A is equal to what? 5. And then I will declare int B is equal to what? 6. And I will declare int C is equal to 0. Now, I want to send um, C is equal to what? A. And I want to send uh, uh, the 5 to C. And then I want to send 6 to A. So, A is equal to what? B and B is equal to what? C. So, here you can say I want to print the values before swapping. Console that right turn off. Before swap, before swap, A is plus A plus A plus B is B is plus B. Is it clear? And now here I want to print after swap the values. After swap, here you can see A is plus A and B is plus B. So, here you see before swap, A is 5, B is 6. After swap, A is 6, B is 5. I hope you understood. But in some interviews, they will ask you, write a program to swap two numbers without using what? Third variable. This is the code to swap the two numbers by using what? Third variable. Similarly, you can swap the two numbers without using what? third variable. So, let us consider here something like here I have two variables are there. One is what? A. Other one is what? B. 
that so here a is how much 5 b is how much 6 so without using third variable how to swap here simple logic is that a plus b a plus b means 11 11 minus a you will get what 6 similarly 11 minus 6 you will get what 5 so a simple logic is that you can use that one means here you can write a is equal to a plus b first add the numbers and store the result in a b is equal to a minus b a is equal to a minus b this is the logic to swap two numbers without using what third variable so i will try to remove this c variable and here you press the fire you will get the same output i hope you understood right so this is how you can write the program to uh, swap two numbers by using third variable and without using what third variable the logic is common anywhere whether you learn c c plus plus java or c sharp whatever it may be the logic will never change now we will see the program to uh, display the fibonacci series for example the fibonacci series will look like this something like this i want to print some series like this Is it clear? Some series like this. So how to print the series? If you observe clearly, I am uh, what I am doing here. Here I have taken the first number as one, second number as one. How you got the third number? One plus one, so that is two. Now two plus one, that is what? Three. Three plus two, you will get five. Five plus three, that is what? Eight. And I am doing like this. And we are able to tell from which number third number and the first number second number is our choice i am giving any number for example if i give 2 and 3 the third number is what 5 fourth number is 8 fifth number is 13 something like this if i give the first number as 1 and second number as 0 third number is what um, 1 fourth number is 1 fifth number is 2 something like that 3 next number is 5 so here actually uh, we are uh, uh, declaring two variables for first number and what second number so initially i will take one variable int f1 is equal to what one first number and i will declare int f2 one second number first number second number is stored in two different variables then i want to print console dot right line of i want to print the first number f1 similarly i want to print the second number f2 now these two numbers you already printed now i want the third number how can you get the third number by adding the first number and second number for that we have to write the logic so now i want to print this series 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 numbers are there if you leave the first two numbers because we already printed the first two numbers remaining numbers left are seven numbers so i have to write the for loop i want to rotate the loop for seven times for int i is equals to one i less than equals to seven i plus plus I want to rotate the loop for 7 times. Is it clear? And now I want to um, perform the, I will declare one more variable here that is F3. In the F3 initially how much? 0. Now how you are getting the third number? If you add the first number and second number you will get third number. So here I will write something like F3 is equals to F1 plus F2. You will get the third number. Now here what I want to do? Uh, after getting the third number, I want to print F3. So here I will write console dot right line of F3. Now again I want to swap. Uh, I want to send uh, uh, F2 to F1, F3 to F2. So here I will write something like F1 is equal to F2 and uh, F2 is equal to F3. I will explain the logic. You will understand. So here you see. Here I have taken three variables. One is F1 one is f2 other one is f3 another one is i this is f1 i taken one variable f1 another variable f2 and the variable f3 and here i taken one variable called i so initially f1 is equals to one means what here i am storing the value one in f1 now f2 is equals to one one in f2 now initially f3 is how much zero and initial i is how much 1 so here you see i am printing 1 here first time i am printing the 1 
and then I'm printing what one again. Now initial i is how much? One. First time we are rotating the loop. Now one less than equals seven true. F one is how much? One. F two is how much? One. One plus one. Two. So F three is how much? Two. Is it clear? So print what? F three. Means here you are printing the third number. Now F two. F one is equals F two. What is F two? One. So send one to F one. Assign one in F one. Now F two is equals F three. Means what? F three is two. Send F three to what? F two. We are swapping the number actually here. And then I. I means how much? I means uh, two. Means second time we are rotating the loop to get the next number. So now here you see. Uh, F one plus F two. F one means one plus two. So F three is how much? Three. Is it clear? Now print the F three. That is three. Now F one is equal to F two. F two is two. We are sending to what? F one. F two is equal to F three. And we are storing F three in F two. So here F two is. And actually we are removing the F one number. Once when we get the number, we are removing the F one number. Now here you can see. Now I is how much? Three. Means we are uh, rotating the loop to print the next number. That is five. So here you see. F one plus F two. Three two plus three. How much? Five. So F three is five. Now swap the numbers. F one is how much? Three. F two is how much? Five. Is it clear? Next here you print that number five. Okay. After printing you swap the numbers. Next I is how much? Four. Is it clear? Now here you see. F one three plus five is how much? Eight. So here you print what? Uh, you store your eight in F three and print the eight. Here you are printing the next number eight. And now here, if you observe, I is how much? Five. Like that, we have to rotate the loop how many times? Seven times. I hope you understood. Let us check the output of this program. This is the logic for what Fibonacci series, right? So here I will use console dot write because console dot write will uh, print the output and keep the cursor on the same line. Press F five, Control F five. So here you see. Here also I want to print console dot write because I want to print the output in the same line. After printing the number, I want to give some space. Here also I want to give some space. Right? Press F five. So here you see the output. One one two three five eight thirteen twenty one thirty four. I hope you understood. This is the program for what Fibonacci series. In the next video we will discuss about some other logical programs. And for more videos you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.